In 2018, the IHF has made several changes to the rules surrounding face-offs. One of the changes will require a sharpened awareness on skate and stick positioning by center icemen. The rule says two skaters taking a face-off must be positioned squarely facing their opponent's end, approximately one stick length apart, with the tip of the stick blade stationary on the white part of the face-off spots. For end zone face-offs, their skates must be positioned inside the markings on either side of the face-off dot, the double L. Players cannot encroach on each other's space above the midway point of the dot with any part of their body. The following instructional video uses examples out of the NHL, who went through a similar change in their 2017-18 season. Centermen will be required to pay particular attention to their skate positioning. They are not allowed to cross over the lines. The defensive player sets first, the attacking player sets second, and the puck will be dropped. Perhaps the biggest adjustment for the attacking centerman will be the fact that he's not allowed to time the face-off. He's going to have to bring his stick down and stop in the same manner that the defensive centerman does. Linesmen have been instructed to ensure skates stay behind the red markings, that players are square to their opponent facing the end zone, and the sticks are on the white part of the face-off dot and motionless. The puck will be dropped when both sticks are still. Linesmen have been instructed to use simple verbal instructions. Skates behind the red. Sticks on the white. The goal is to have fast, efficient and fair face-offs. If a team commits a face-off violation, the linesman will issue a first face-off violation warning to the skater taking the face-off. The linesman will signal the warning with their index finger. A second violation will result in a bench minor penalty. The offending team centre is no longer removed from the face-off after the first face-off violation.